Oh God. Welcome back to Cosmolics Anonymous. I am your favorite girl, Bo Vintage, and today's video is Botox. The old Botox email is no longer valid, so if you have sent your email to the old Botox email, then I have not gotten it, and I will not get it. Hey, Bo, I already sent this email, but you didn't but you didn't use it, so here I go again. I'm 25 years old, and I have been with my boyfriend for six years. He's 28, by the way. Our relationship is awesome. And we love each other very much. We live together and do everything together. But he has a friend. This guy has been in love with me since he met me. He never said it, but the way he looks at me and the way he talks when no one is around speaks volumes. Now, my guy is not the jealous type. I told him I think his friend is in love with me, but he thinks I'm nuts and that Alex is just a friendly guy. Girl, believe me when I say that the man looks at me like he wants to fuck me 24-7. He even came, became touchy recently and loves to hug me randomly. Uh-uh, he crossing lines, man. He crossing them lines and his ass finna get beat by your man. Like, I, this one time we were out clubbing and he was making out with some girl. And he was looking at me while doing it. That is creepy. I would, like, never be around him ever again after that. That's some weird shit. Like, that is some weird shit. Because that means that he was just imagining it to be you. Like, nah. Bitch, no. Now, the devil is a liar. He, he is a liar. So, we, we ain't with that. We, we're really not. My ponytail's fucked up. Even my friend noticed it. I don't know what to do. He's an okay guy, but it's too much. How do I make my BF realize what kind of guy Alex is? Please help me. I love your channel, and I really respect your advice. Thanks, baby girl. I love you, too. Oh, she didn't say I love you, but you know what? I love you, too, anyway. This one's a doozy, like... There's, the only way your boyfriend is going to see it is if he actually sees it, like, for himself. Or just be like, honestly, babe, I know you don't believe me, but I'm really uncomfortable around your friend because he's very touchy, and I feel like it's inappropriate for our relationship. I get he's your friend, and you probably wouldn't want to believe something like this because it's outrageous, but why would I make something like this up? If I, and I say this all the time, like, if you're around, I've been around strange men, not strange men, I've been around strangers that are men, like, I used to work with this man, and I, oh, whoops, never mind, I'm not gonna say wait. <laughs> I used to work with this man, and automatically, as soon as I met him, I got this creep vibe off of it. Like, you can get a creep vibe off of somebody. Like, I have a creep radar. Creep dar, like, I got one. It, it's, it works really well. And, like, you can, I'm a, I have a creep -a meter That's what we're going to call it. Like, if my creep -a meter was going off, like, well, 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 like, ham, going ham when I met this man. And I'm just like, uh-uh, like, nah, nigga, you is weird, honey. Like, but, like, yeah, like, I just... I'm not with the, the shit, like, you need to just tell your boyfriend that your her, his friend makes you uncomfortable and you would appreciate it if he didn't bring him around while you were around. But, it is his best friend, so, I don't know. This one's font is huge, like, your font is so big. Hey, Bo, I really need your advice. So, me and my ex have known each other since the summer, going into senior year, and now we're both sophomores in college. We broke up in the summer going into college, and he heard which school I was attending, so he decided to go too. Yes, he's a damn creep. <laughs> See, her creep of me is going off, y'all. It's going off. He begged and pleaded in front of everyone, countless times for my love back. And after three months, I took him back. We were great. He loved me more than he ever did at this point. Now this summer is going to be our second year and he started moving funny. When I thought I was pregnant, he was happy about this even though I was extremely sad because abortion is not an option in my family. When we found out I wasn't, he was upset, which scared me a little. Like, we have nothing. Why would this be what we want right now? <laughs> Despite him telling me I'm not allowed to go on birth control. What? A while after that, he started replying to me whenever he felt like shortening our conversations and even saying no when I asked him to come see me. Oh. 
I wish a nigga would. <laughs> I wish a nigga would. Like, now we're in school and he tells me how he feels about us together, stating he doesn't know what he wants, but we know what our future is hitting for. I'ma marry you. He sounds like a corny ass nigga. Sorry, not sorry. But to make this awkward, he didn't tell me any of this until we were having sex. What? Like, the fuck is this supposed to mean? Like, what the fuck? If you read this, it will be very much appreciated. Sorry for the lengthy email. Love you much, Bo. Love you too. Um, I, I don't know what to tell you other than he sounds like a corny ass nigga. Like, and I'm not sure if you mean he told you this while you guys were having sex or if he didn't tell you this until, like, after you guys had sex for the first time. And then now all of a sudden his shit... He, he, like he's he's moving mucky usually at such a young age if you get pregnant you know the guy isn't excited because you know he's like fuck like I'm not even done school I don't have my shit together I don't have like I can't do this whole baby thing but he seems to be the opposite and you seem to be the one that's like I can't do this and like you know, God forbid you have a kid. I'm gonna have to crop the top of my head out. God forbid you have a child. Oh, my bun is not even on my damn head, bitch. God forbid you were to get pregnant at this age, like, you know, before even graduating or getting to graduate. It would suck. I think that you might want to start exploring your options in terms of if you want to stay with this person or not because he seems to be I don't I don't know what to gauge from this I don't know what to tell you after reading this I'm kind of confused after reading this so I don't want to say anything that you know is like what the fuck is she talking about anything too left field I I don't know girl your man seems a little weird to me he seems confused and if your man starts acting up or starts like moving left like you have to question him you can't just let him do it and then see what happens like you have to be on it you have to ask him questions you have to be detailed in your questions and ask him like you know what why are you acting this way what's causing you to act this way do we need to break up like, what are your feelings towards me? Have they changed? And why are you telling me that you're going to marry me but you don't know what you want right now? I feel like when you enter into a relationship with somebody at a young age and they feel like they haven't had that chance to explore bitches or other niggas, like, that's when they start acting weird and are they kind of regret being in a long-term relationship and then they go explore and then they like fuck I fucked that up and I can't go back now and then the girl moves on or the guy moves on and he's happy and she's happy and they're separate things and then the uh, the person that wanted to explore is single and fucking like crying every night because they fucked up a good thing so I don't really know what to tell you in this situation it's a little odd and I don't understand it what the hell is this animal jam bullshit Okay, so recently I've been liking this guy named Chris. He's really sweet, but also kind of ugly. <laughs> I don't care about looks, though. And my best friend Lexi started dating him. Me and Lexi would joke around and call each other hoes, but now I really think she's hoeing around. She knows I really like him, and when he asked her out, of course she said yes. What kind of friends do y'all have? Like, every time I do Botox or some shit like this, I don't understand it. And I think she just really wanted a boyfriend. I don't want to end getting in a fight, especially over some boy. And I really don't want me and her to stop being best friends. Any advice? P.S. I love you and your videos slay. Well, I mean, I wouldn't be fucking with the bitch no more. Like, that's some grimy ass shit like if I 
if we're best friends, I don't care if the nigga doesn't like me. If I'm your best friend and I tell you I have a crush on this dude, I don't care if he likes me or not and he likes you, bitch. I don't care. As a friend, a girlfriend, you don't start dating that person just out of respect for feeling, uh, just out of the respect, like, for your friend. He's probably ain't shit, never gonna be shit. No, I can't say that about the young man. I don't know him. <laughs> but, like, it's never that deep to, like, betray your friend like that. Like, it's never that deep to, to go out with the guy that your friend tells you that she likes like don't be that girl don't ever in your life be that girl because you that just means to me that you're not trustworthy that you don't have my best interest at heart and what the kind of shit is that and he ugly like why does she have to date the ugly boy like come on now that's just fucked up I don't I don't know man I like to stop being friends with her over a guy is silly but in my opinion you're not ending your friendship because she's dating the guy or over a guy you're ending the friendship because this is like when you're young this is the ultimate betrayal like she betrayed you this is a little betrayal she can potentially betray you in a major way in the future and I think that's where I would be looking at the situation. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. So, fool me three times, fuck the peace sign, load the chop, let it rain on you. What? Yes, cold world, bitch, cold world. <laughs> but, um, real shit, like, that could definitely be the situation where you trust her again in the future because you didn't end your friendship with her and then she shits on you again. There's no telling, like, there's some people that you're friends with that will always try to one-up you or like, you know, they're always trying to compete with you. And I ain't trying to, first of all, I don't compete where I don't compare, bitch. So if you was trying to compete with me and we don't compare, like, there's no comparison so we cannot compete. Like, that's just how I feel. Like, if I'm friends with somebody and they're always trying to compete with me, like, I can't. Like, that means that you, I have something that you want and like, you're trying to one-up me and just be better than me and like nah nigga like I am with the shits we can't be friends we're, we're like no please go please go compete with your fucking self cause you can't compete with me bitch I don't have not the one single fucking person that can compete with me bitch I compete with myself and that's it like compete with yourself like why are you competing with your friends that's not how you do it you don't compete together you eat together shout out to my boo Paris K hi how are you that's my bae Anyway, um, yeah, like, that's the thing. The reason that I fuck with Paris is because she's a real ass bitch. Like, she does not try to. She has never, ever tried to fucking compete with me. I've never competed with her. Like, we're just... That's why we get along, because we both had those kinds of friends. Like, we both had friends that tried to one-up us, and nah, like the fuck so that's why we can get along and that's why we can have a solid friendship because we don't do that dumb shit like now like if me and Paris were both single and Paris told me um and Paris told me uh I just met this guy he met cute or whatever like I think I want to get with him and then she introduces me to him and I already know him or something like that and I'm like oh that's my homie blah 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 I'm not gonna try to make a move on this nigga. Like, my friend just told me that she's interested in him. Why would I take it upon myself to fucking date him? Or, like, say he didn't like her back and he was kind of eyeing me. Like, I would be like, nah, nigga. Like, my girl likes you. I don't care if you don't like her, but she likes you and I'm not fucking with you like that. So, bounce. Biggity, 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 bounce. Like, out of here. I don't understand. I don't. I'm I don't understand. <clears throat> hey, Bo. I love you and your channel so much. Also, I would like to keep this anonymous. Anyways, for a few years now, I've been questioning my sexuality. Ooh. I've always liked boys all my life, but now I just find boys attractive. I find girls attractive, too, and I've been questioning whether I'm bi or not. 
I don't talk to anyone about it but my best friend and she said she would accept me either way. But the thing is, I started growing feelings for her. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know if it's just my emotions being all over the place or if me actually liking her. A few days ago, a girl in my class had asked me if we were dating and for a second I was surprised. <laughs> she had asked me, but I had quickly told her that we were just best friends. And after that, it had me questioning my sexuality even more. Should I tell my friend about the little crush I have on her and continue on with our friendship, or should I not say anything at all? Maybe it's just nothing. Hopefully you can get to my email, thanks. Honestly, it's up to you if you want to tell her or not, because you don't know how she's going to take it. She said she would accept you as her friend regardless of if you were straight or not, but... I don't think that she'll stop being your friend if you tell her that you're attracted to her or that you have a crush on her, but at the same time, even though she's accepting you for who you are, she may not be comfortable knowing or it may be awkward between you two if you do tell her. So I really don't know, like you really have to feel that one out, you have to feel out what she, vibe she's giving off before you can, you know dive in there and just be like bitch I like you bitch so yeah that one is kind of sticky I can't be like I don't want to tell you to tell her because I like I don't want to tell you to tell her because if I do and then you tell her and then you guys aren't friends after because she feels weird about you because I don't know but at the same time like maybe she maybe she wants you to be attracted to her but I don't know I don't know Hey Bo, you've been glowing lately. Thank you. What's your secret? I really don't have one. I don't I don't have a secret, bitch. I really don't. I use highlighter. Like look at that. <laughs> Wait. But that's it. Today I have on um cheeky bronze mineralized skin finish by MAC as my highlighter. I didn't use my ABH today. But yeah, but that's it. <laughs> LOL, and don't worry, it doesn't have to be anonymous. I know you hate that. Yes, I do. So I'm paranoid as a bit, but I can feel that nobody really fucks with me like that no more. I gotta go to high school next year, and honestly, truly, I'm ready. I know my clique is finna switch. I mean, they already are. And I'm not with the shits, I'm telling you. Anyway, back to the point. I seriously don't like my school. Not only is it one of the many kindergarten through 8th grade schools in my district, but I just don't like the kids there. I miss my elementary friends that moved on without me, and I don't have any real friends. It's really, it's only a couple of girls that I feel like I can share stuff with, and I'm only going to be with one next year. Sad case. No, that's actually very good. I'll get into that after. Um, I know my friends, friends, talk about me with each other because they talk about each other with me. Also, they leave me out of everything and my phone stays dry all day. Like, nobody hits my phone unless it's for homework. <laughs> and I don't mean I have unread. I just delete all my contacts because it's no point. Oh. I want to switch schools so bad, but because there are only other six to eight schools, they be like family, like it's no drama, and they love each other. Plus, I know from I know some of them, but I got in a little mess with this boy in the school I want to go to, but that's whatever. And I'm not switching out my high school with anyone I hang out with in the clique so I'm excited because maybe I'll meet some people who actually like me before I switched this bummy scummy school I had friends but we fell off but we're still cool I guess what do you think I should do should I switch now I'm miserable or just wait it out until high school I dread coming here and I feel as though if I say something they report back to their little group chat and the next day nobody wants to talk to me and they assume before asking me and I'm tired but then again this could all be in my head did I mention that they're fake as hell because they are <laughs> and messy 
And I know I'm not imagining this. Sorry for the length. Wish you the best. Okay, like, I said this in many videos. At the beginning of high school, you're going to be clicked up. By the end of high school, you're going to be on your fucking lonely stoner ass. Like, you're going to be solo dolo, okay? And... I don't know why people don't get that. It's best to just go into high school with one person that you're going to be close with and call it a day. Like, you'll end up meeting different people that you can chill with and fuck with. But, like, at the end of the day, the only person that's always going to have your back is you. You do not need, like, I feel like the best friendships are built in college. And so I'm kind of like indifferent about not going to school because I could have probably met some dope ass people but like if I was supposed to go to school I would have went to school and um yeah I just feel like you build the realest friendships in college so there's no need to worry about friendships and stuff when you're in high school yes I get it it's it's nice to have those people around just so that you're not lonely but at the same time it's like okay when I'm in a big group of girls or boys, there's drama. When I'm by myself, I'm focused. And that's what you should be worried about. I don't think it's necessary to switch schools right now because it's not like they're bullying you and you have to switch. Like, if they were bullying you, I would say, okay, yeah, switch. Fuck it. But they're not bullying you. They're not really bothering you per se. It could just be all in your head. And I don't think, like, I feel like, if you switch now, it's kind of like you're running away from your problems. And it's never, ever a good idea to run from your problems. You have to deal with your shit straight on. You can't run away from your problems because if you start running now in the 8th grade, what are you going to do when you're fucking 20-something? You're going to still be fucking running. It's a very bad idea to start at a young age running from your problems. Like, don't do it. Just deal with the shit head on. If nobody fucks with you at the end of the day, that probably just means you popping as fuck. Like, <laughs> I'm not even joking. Like, if people... And this is how I was. Like... Elementary school wasn't so bad for me, but high school, it was like, one week I was cool with everybody, the next week I wasn't, and the one thing about me that I can say is that I was motherfucking consistent as a motherfucker, like, I didn't sugarcoat shit, I kept it too real, and that's why I had so many problems in high school, because I wasn't fugazi, like, I wasn't pretending to be something I wasn't, like, I just stuck to my guns, and I did what I wanted to do, and... People are envious of stuff like that, so if you are feeling this way, like, high school is not going to be a breeze for you. It was not a breeze for me because I was so in and out with everybody, but at the end of the day, when I got older, I realized that it was only because I didn't care. Like, when you don't care and you show that you don't care, people are, like, looking at you sideways and shit, but, like, bitch... I don't have a reason to care like I really don't so I'm not going to be fucking sobbing in the corner because fucking Christina and Patrice don't Patrice who the fuck is Patrice <laughs> don't want to fucking talk to me like I don't care so that's why that's the, the attitude you need to have you need to just throw your caring shoes out the window like you just don't care bitch walk around barefoot like you have to just have no care no chill and zero fucks to give and that's just is what it is okay okay before i start the story i want to i want this to be as anonymous as possible because this shit gets crazy so to start off the story i want to include that i am in what i would consider my first adult relationship but before this relationship i was secretly involved with someone that i knew seven years ago i met through my older sister or my older sibling sorry this guy was a friend of one of my sister's boyfriends and i adored him it was a little girl crush, but because he was much older than me and he was the same age as my siblings who are about four to six years older than me. I was 13 at the time. Nobody thought anything of it, but about four years later, my older sister decides it would be cute to play around and have him call me on my 17th birthday. And when I say everything fell to shit from there, <laughs> trust me, it did. We started to talk every single day from that point on, 
And in between that, I found out he had sex with my sister. E. Now, when I heard that, I was crushed. But then I made myself get over it because it wasn't the first or last guy she had been with. No shade. I know I'm still trifling. <laughs> oh, God. Fast forward some time and some sex. We're saying we love each other, but <laughs> everything is still on the hush. Nobody knows about me and him. We fall off for a little while because it had to be a secret, so I moved on. A year later, I get a call from him. He got hurt and lost his job and apartment. Now he's homeless and sleeping in his car. I want to help him out so bad, but I don't want to be rude or disrespectful to my boyfriend. What should I do? Nah, -uh, bitch. I'm sorry. This is a grown ass man and he needs to figure his shit out. You don't have a place to help him. Like, I get it. I, I totally get why you would want to help him. But at the same time, like, you can't stick your neck out for everyone. And because you're in a relationship, if you were single, I would tell you different advice. But because you're in a relationship, like, you have to respect that relationship. You can't go helping, helping this man financially, like... Just because he lost it, what, he lost his job, he can't get another job, like, you know what I mean? Like, niggas are born to hustle, okay? So he should be able to figure it out on his own. He must have family or somebody that he can turn to. I think it's really shady of him to ask you for anything. Um, it's not like you got, even though you guys didn't have a bad falling out, at the same time, it's just like, this is random, out of the blue, like, what do you mean you're living in your car? Like, to me, that's just off. Um, but who am I to judge? I don't know him, so, you know, his situation could be very real, but at the same time, like, if you're homeless, you don't have to live in your car. You can go stay in a shelter. If you are broke, you can find a way to make money. And if you are jobless, there are plenty of libraries that are free of charge that you can go and job search and resource centers and you know things to help you get back on your feet like how long has he been homeless jobless and broke for how long it is not your place to help him and I do not personally think you should if stick out stick your neck out for this man maybe this is coming from a place of for me like maybe my advice is a little biased because when I was helping this little rat rotten ass nigga with his doggy I stuck my neck out for him and it backfired in the worst way and so maybe my advice is coming from like a bitch no I did this don't do it kind of thing but and I didn't even have sex with that nigga like we didn't have a relationship like that like that was not like this was my kid boyfriend or my kid ex-boyfriend like you know what I mean we didn't have some fucking we, we were never physical and you know it was never like that so the relationship to me was completely different um, or is completely different in comparison to this one and you know he obviously never had sex with one of my like nah like no and I'm just shocked that you guys had sex because <laughs> bitch he had sex with your sister like what I could never have sex with anybody that had sex with my sister because I truly believe that when you have sex with somebody um when you have sex with somebody that's had sex with other people, I believe that you're having sex with everybody that they've had sex with, too, because of the whole soul thing. And so, like, I couldn't do that. Like, I could not have sex with somebody that had sex with somebody in my family, period. Not even just one of my sisters, my cousins, my auntie, my damn uncle. Like, I don't give a shit, nigga. Like, nah, we are not sharing this, buddy. Like, nah. Anyway. That's neither here nor there. As far as I'm concerned, you don't owe him anything, you know. You didn't help him lose whatever he lost, so there's no need for you to help him find it. But yeah. I think I'm going to do one more and then I'm out because i got to shoot Shooter's Kitchen. Hey, Bo, I would like to remain anonymous. So me and my best friend have been best friends for almost two years now. Our friendship started off as just friends and then we both started developing feelings for each other. Being that I have trust issues, when he asked if I wanted to be serious, I simply said no. Not even a month later, he pops up with a girlfriend. I know the girl because she used to date my cousin and she's one of those down for the squad hoes. She fucked two of his friends. Oh God. So, when, she, when I found out it was her, I was kind of disappointed, but there was nothing I could do about it. 
me and my best friend continued hanging out and talking constantly. In December, we stopped talking whatsoever <coughs> when I moved to my when I moved to live with my mom. We started talking again in February when he told me they broke up. So one day I get a DM from her asking why I want to ruin her relationship. So I was confused as fuck because I thought they were broken up. So I talked to him and told him I couldn't mess with him if he's still with her. So he did the unthinkable and broke up with her. I know that since I moved, I shouldn't really attempt a relationship, but we graduate this year and he wants us to get a place together. Wow. The twist is he's still messing with her and thinks I don't know. Bo, what should I do? <sighs> I have no clue because I fucking love the kid. He's my best friend, but it's a situation I don't want to deal with but can't let go. Baby girl, don't piss me off. Like, you just answered your own question. He's a shady ass nigga. He told you, and I'm sorry, I'm yelling. He told you that he is not fucking with the girl no more. He told you that they broke up. She messaged you and asked you why you're trying to ruin her relationship. He broke up with her and then tries to fuck with you now. He wants to be in a relationship with you, wants to move with you, but you know that he's still fucking with her and he's acting like he's not fucking with her. He's not a good guy. Best friend or not, he's obviously a shady ass nigga. Like, no. The answer is no. N motherfucking O. Like, nah. N O. Okay? N O. Illuminati bitch. Like, nah. Like, stop fucking with these weirdos. Like, he's a weirdo. Like, why are you trying to lie to me about this. Like, if we're best friends, I'm the one person. I don't care if you lie to your girl, bitch. I'm not your girl. We're best friends first. You shouldn't be lying to me about anything. And this is so small. For him to lie to you about this is fucking dumb. Either he wants to fuck with you, or he wants to fuck with her. He cannot have his cake and eat it too. End of story. Point blank. Period. And that's the end of that. Anyway, you guys. I love you all. This Botox was actually really good. I'm, if I didn't get to your email, I'm so sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. I'm probably going to film Botox again this week. I know I say that every single time and I never end up doing it because Botox just takes so much out of me. I promise every time before I'm supposed to film Botox, I like end up not posting for days which you guys witnessed this week like I didn't post for like four days straight and so because of that even yesterday I was supposed to film Botox and instead I ended up doing Shooter's Kitchen because I just couldn't deal but Botox is back in full effect there will be two of these dropping I'm gonna split this video into two parts like I usually do with Botox so two days in a row you guys will get your Botox fix and yeah I love you guys so much you guys are awesome we're slowly fucking moving to 200k and I'm so happy and so excited and so grateful for you guys. You guys are fucking awesome sauce. I love you guys so much and I think that's it. I love you all. If you want to participate in Botox, the email will be in the description box and also on the screen. Hit me up. Hit me up, girl. Um, and that's it. I'm very hungry. I'm about to go film Shooter's Kitchen again. So this is a very, very good week for you guys. And later on, after Shooter's Kitchen, I will film my braces update story. So, yeah. I love you all, and I will definitely see you in the next one.